Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on how to use quetiapine, also known as Seroquel. This video is part of a video series on mental health problems and for those of you looking for more of these videos, check out the playlist in the description or up there. And for those of you who are meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this channel. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. And now quickly, let's get started. The generic name of this drug is quetiapine, but it's sold under several brand names like Seroquel and is available as a tablet and a tablet with modified release. Which brings us to how to use it. Swallow the tablet whole with half a glass of water, do not chew on it and do not break the tablet as this might reduce its effectivity. In addition, these tablets should not be taken with food as this can also lower its effectivity. Therefore, always take them at least one hour before you eat. Then the duration of treatment. This depends on your indication of use as well as the severity of your symptoms. But usually if Seroquel is effective for you, your doctor prescribes it for at least one to two years and sometimes even for multiple years. Seroquel is part of a group of drugs called antipsychotics and it can be used to treat several mental health problems like schizophrenia, moderate to severe manic episodes and major depressive episodes in bipolar disorder. Normally I would discuss the correct dosages here, but I can't provide you with any guidelines regarding the use of Seroquel. As these differ a lot depending on the specific indication, the side effects you are experiencing and the severity of your symptoms. Usually your doctor starts with a low dose and then quickly builds up this dose over the course of a few days, after which he will adapt your maintenance dose throughout your treatment based on the blood values of Seroquel you're having and the symptoms you're experiencing. Therefore, always use the prescribed amount and frequency your doctor gave you. Seroquel can be a very effective drug, but unfortunately it also has some side effects. I will discuss the most common ones here, but if you're looking for a complete list, always ask your prescribing doctor or check your leaflet. Very commonly, patients might experience drowsiness, a dry mount, dizziness, muscle cramps, and weight gain. Commonly, patients might experience an increased appetite, nightmares, shortness of breath, palpitations, vomiting, and changes in their blood values. And uncommonly, patients might experience a hypersensitive or allergic reaction, diabetes, or sexual dysfunction. Which brings us to safety. Do not eat any grapefruits while using Seroquel, as this may increase the side effects you're experiencing. And the same is true for the usage of alcohol, as this might increase the dazing effects of Seroquel. In addition, it's usually safe to drive when using this drug. However, it can cause several side effects like dizziness, headache, drowsiness. And if you're experiencing any of these, please do not drive. And lastly, Seroquel can have interactions with other drugs. Therefore, always discuss this with your prescribing doctor. And as always, we end off by taking a look at the safety of Seroquel when pregnant or when breastfeeding. And unfortunately, it can be dangerous in both cases. However, there are some exceptions. Therefore, always discuss this with your prescribing doctor. Now, I hope you know now how to use Seroquel, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And for those of you who want to keep on educating yourself, check out the playlist in the description or up there. Now, all that rest me is to thank my sponsors on Patreon. Thank you, Sebastian, who is an investor to your supporter. And thank all of you for watching this video. If you did learn something, please leave a like. This will help out the channel tremendously and consider subscribing. This will help me to reach my new subscriber milestone, 20,000 subscribers, but will also enable me to educate you every week on a new topic. Oh, and before you go, I recently made a new Instagram account at How to Medicate, and I hope to see you there. Thank you all for watching, and as always, see you on my new video next week. Bye bye. <laughs>